Darren, two games to go, one point needed mathematically to make yourself safe, but you've got that favourable goal difference, so can you consider yourself safe yet? I think until mathematically it's done, you, you never want to rely on, on, on others. And we've just got to make sure we have the same performance as what we did against Crew. Uh, the players have been energetic, lively, and uh, they all want to get across the finish line. Yeah, yeah. How disappointing was that performance at Grimsby? It was. Uh, I've explained to them we set up exactly the same. Uh, we had one change, and uh, there's always a difference between a home and an away performance. And Grimsby were a strong outfit, but we've remained focused on the next game. And, that's what we had to do straight away, it's what we've done all season and uh, it's important we get a reaction on Saturday. Not just for us as, as a group but also the supporters as well because you always want to finish your last home game strong. Yeah, that can give motivation, can't it? The last home game of the season here from the players' point of view, they want to, as you say, put in a performance for the fans. Yeah, I think there's so many things that you can look at for the players to be motivated and uh, you know, one is our, our futures. Uh, we're, we're trying to protect what's it, a 15, nearly a 15 year history of football league status so that's very very important to the players and they're going to be ones that are, are carrying that badge and uh, hopefully they, they carry it with pride and determination and desire exactly like we did against crew. Yeah so when you need a point will you change your approach in terms of maybe the, the setup and stuff like that or will you just uh, approach the game as you normally would? I think you have to look at Stevenage, you know, Stevenage have to come here and get a result because they want to stay in the playoffs so I expect probably an end-to-end -end game. Mm. And then when Stevenage are, Stevenage are going for the, they need the points obviously as you say for different reasons so they're going to come here and, and throw everything at you? They will, I think it's important we handle the, the pressure of that but if, if there was pressure then that was exactly the same as crew. And, uh, you know, I thought they, we handled that extremely well. The support has got behind us and uh, you know, it was a good performance. Yeah, Stevenage was a tool, wasn't it, when you played them up there? I mean, yeah. Back in November, so a long, lot's happened since then, but is that a sort of similar game as what, what you would expect this time around? Well, they've changed their shape. They play exactly the way that we were playing with a 4-3-3, and they've been quite effective at, at it. But again, we have to focus on what we do, and. Uh, We've got to make sure we're, we're organised and again I'm looking for that same home performance as what we've had last. Yeah, Kevin Dawson, how's he? Kev's okay but we're still uh, waiting on a decision to be made uh, going into the game on Saturday. Yeah, so is there an sort of outside chance he may or may or may not be involved? At the we're just waiting. Uh, again, it's a, a decision, a medical decision like we've had all season and uh, we've got to make sure we make the right decision, one for Kev and, and one for the football. Yeah, and the rest of the squad, are they all looking good? Yeah, everyone's looking good. Obviously, we've, we've had Krizyak, which has um, been struggling, but uh, apart from that, we, we've done well to get to this stage in the season and uh, be uh, at the, the strength that we're at now. Yeah, how are you, on a personal level, looking forward to this final home game of the season? I think it's been uh, a season uh, ups and downs. Uh, we've had some extremely positive uh, games. And uh, just our forms dipped uh, from the January transfer window. And uh, uh, if we could turn back time, and uh, unfortunately we can't. But what we have to do is, uh, I look at it this year, and uh, the success and failure have not been too far apart. And uh, it's crazy, really, where you could be in tenth position, but only a few points off the playoffs. Uh, what we've got to do is we've got to make sure we make improvements. Uh, on next year, I think if it, we had six more wins this year, we'll be in the playoffs. Uh, we've lost one less game, I think, than Stevenage. Apart from we've drawn too many games, and uh, you know I have to make sure that the group that we build for next year, and uh, we've had discussions this week, which has been good news. Well, not good news, fantastic news. I've spoken to one or two key players and uh, it looks very promising. What I have got to do is next week, I've got to make sure that those key players are signed on the dotted line. Yeah, so you are beginning to turn your attention, from what I guess you always are, and you're looking ahead. You, you can't afford to not think about the future in that respect. Well, we sat down uh, with the board, and uh, the board have given the, the green light, and uh, you know I've spoken to one or two. They, they've been very positive, so hopefully we can have good news next week. Yeah, and as a, looking at the squad and the players that are out of contract, uh, do you know in your, your head which players you'd like to, to keep? I'm not asking to give names, but do you know in your mind which ones you'd like to keep and which ones maybe will be looking for new clubs? 
I think we've got to a stage now where I said the last 10 games were, were huge and uh, it was going to test their personality and character and uh, what I've seen is, a, is a, still a, a group of players that are giving everything and uh, some have been more successful than others in recent games but I have to make the decision that one that's right for the football club mainly and uh, supporters have, have, have seen some good players at this football club and I've got to do my best to make sure that those good players that have played the majority of this season, that have been consistent performers, remain at the football club. And uh, I've spoken to one or two key players and uh, the signs are very, very positive and hopefully by next week we can have some real good news.